I'm Mags from Let's Have Music News. Are you ready for me? Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, thanks for joining us. Um, Thank you. Yeah, and Steve, you were awesome in there, recording your, your song. And uh, can you first please tell us a bit about the song and what it means and how it came to be? Well, Pierre Pier knows the real genesis of the song Live On, which was a huge hit in the 80s. Yeah. And And um, I, only, I only heard it when I was uh, on the border and Pierre came to sing. Pierre and a group of guys came to sing. Well, sang. I don't know if you were in the army at that stage. Mm. If that was part of what you did. But I heard the song there. And, um, can I tell you? Yes, are you videoing or what are yes. you doing? Yeah, fine video. <laughs> oh, okay. And uh, can you edit it? Because that's felt like telling you something. Oh, yes. We used to do... We used to volunteer to do um, shows for the army guys yeah. because you could play in a camp. That's right. You see, do you understand? We had to do 40 days a year. Yes, yes. As a, you okay. know, you do your two years, yeah. yes. and then you do another 10 years of a month, two, three months every year. Yeah. Isn't that right? That's right. But we worked out that if we volunteered to do a show for the army guys, yeah. It was it counted, counted as a camp. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> and I was the only guy waiting for someone to come sing for me. I can't help but I have to tell you the truth. <laughs> but I am from Zululand. Oh, yes? Yeah, I'm from KwaZulu Natal. You know, we're always scheming. Yeah, yeah, always working out something. You see? <laughs> well, I'm glad that is the truth. I'm glad that happens. But, that's how I heard it. But yeah. I did sympathize with the guys there because, you know, sitting in the bush or like on the border or whatever is not cool. But I did a lot of work for the army for that reason. Yeah. Took Joanna Field up there one time, and Noel Miller, another crew. Well, lots of us, we, we often went up. Yeah. So anyway, it's just that is. But he'll remember, real, because I'm sure you did it too. Yeah. No, I didn't, no, I didn't do it. Oh. They made me a paintbrusher in Pretoria. Okay, <laughs> well you didn't have to worry about it. No, I didn't. And did you have camps after your time? I actually had two. You see, this is sort of away with murder. <laughs> That's why we're from still Pretoria, saying. we always scheming. Yeah, they were. <laughs> but they were scheming better than we did. Because <laughs> down where we live, everything rusts a little bit. So. But anyway, to 30 years yeah. later, phone, phone up my, this legendary, my hero, and say, listen, please, can I record that song? And will you be interested in it? Do your own song with, you, with, with me? And he said, yes. It's like, oh, come on, this is great, you know. And uh, Pierre came up, we recorded the song, and... Um, I should have used somebody else because he seems too good. Nobody's, <laughs> nobody's going to listen to me. He's sounding better than ever. <laughs> and he did live on, and I did it with him, and it's such an honor, you know. Um, really, if you like Bon Jovi and he walks to the studio and does a song with you, that's what it feels like for me to have finished from now. That's awesome. Will you be performing live anyway, or is it... Not as a rule, but um, we, are, we are planning shows where I can get some of the guys in. If not all together, then at least um, one here, one here, one here. And then we, in December, we have a show where we get as many of them as possible. Pierre, unfortunately, won't be able to make that one. Well, I've got Cindy and Clive Bruce and all these guys on stage. Herbie from Herbie and Spence. Long, 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 long ago. So, um, if possible, live where we can. But uh, as a rule, we'll try and get together in that big show with all the artists on stage. That would be lovely. Okay, like an 80s rewind for something. Well, it, it kind of is what it is. It's a big nostalgic. Yeah. Listen, the sergeant works every time. Yeah. You know, I won't be doing yeah. two or three if it didn't work. Everybody likes to sit back and go, ah, oh, that's so take me back. And exactly. yeah. I can smell it. Music's it's a funny thing, it does exactly that. You can remember a song yeah. exactly where you were. You know, it's a t it, it yeah. does put you yeah. back into a time and place. And of course, yeah. you, you know, nostal so nostalgia is a, is, is, um, is a gift only for all the folk. You can't be nostalgic when you're 18. What are you nostalgic about when you're 16? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so as you get older and you have more behind you to be nostalgic about, it becomes this wonderful thing. So at the shows, I get this idea. People come sit down and they go, all right, I'm not going to concentrate now. Just do it. Just do it. And I go through all these old songs. I've got one or two as well. You know? And it's like going through a scuffcus of an old South African music. Yes, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Can I ask each of you an individual question for you? Um, Steve, what would you prefer to perform with, uh, in, in the future, I'm talking about, who's your favorite artist uh, locally and then one internationally that you'd like to include on your new album? Oh, that's incredible. Well, if I do another tour, it'll be one of the older artists, but there are many artists that I haven't worked with, lots of the younger artists. In fact, we're doing a rap song right now of Pompoon oh. <laughs> with Human Beerson, which is, of course, totally out of my genre. In fact, I can't help them at all, but um, I, I can't wait to do that. But then there are some of the great artists that I've never recorded with. Um, uh, I'm thinking of people not about my age. Yvonne, Yvonne Chucky, Chucky and I used to work together. She owes me one. Um, I would say um, Johnny, Johnny Clay would be lovely to work with. 
But then, but then, uh, as far as Tuka goes, my list is already there. You know, I've got to get Eddie Exton, I've got to get Tommy Dowell, I've got to get Jaina Fields, as you mentioned. Oh, those are all the artists I've got to get back with me in a Tuka project. And internationally? Internationally, oh, I'd love to work with, I think, Beth Lydia would be wonderful, because she's proven she can do just about anything. You know, she can do the, the cabaretish thing, but she, can, she did The Rose, which was rock, 70s rock. Yes. So I think as a, as a female artist, that'll be a great one to work with. As a male artists, there's so many of them, I don't know, maybe some of the young rocker bands are really into working with the rockers. Of course, no, I'm not, 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 not Bono. Not Bono at this stage. <laughs> <laughs> we have a small difference in, uh, in repertoire. Not, not yeah. Bono. But I, I suppose I would like to, if I did an international tukai, mm -hmm. I would get Bob Seeger, yes. Roger Whittaker. Mm -hmm. I'd get some of those gentlemen out, you know. know. You know, but how many just recorded now? I think those are the artists you want to work with. You know, they're older artists, but um, they're, they're just legend. Tom Jones. Tom Jones, who's touring yeah. at the moment again. Oh, yeah, he's But then you will look so shit. You could have been so good. <laughs> you could have stand next to Tom Jones. Kenny, Kenny Rogers would be great. He would. Uh, you're right. Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. International. Chris Christopherson. Chris Christopherson. Yeah. You see, there were. There's your took a fall. That's my took a fall. Yeah. The international, international one. Yeah. Except yeah. they are really going to go. They're going to go with Peter Schumacher. They're going to Steve, who? <laughs> no. I'm a busy man out here. You know, California is a busy place. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just turn it around and say, I've actually found time to work with, work with you. you. <laughs> Don't let him answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> say, I've managed to slot you into my schedule, which is tight, man. That's probably Listen, the way to go. I'll, uh, I'll fit you in, Chris. You're good. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> No, they owe it to us, you know, all these international acts, they just bypass us many of the time. Um, you know, they're just coming help us a little bit too. Because that would be a way of helping us get, get abroad. I think that's the big emphasis. Because uh, I know Steve's been to Australia and to New Zealand a bit, and, and even Europe a bit. But, you know, that's essentially what, what we've always strived for, is getting our music exported. Because you've got to get it away from your borders, you know, you've got to, you know, that's the big challenge. Yeah. I can That's hear Neil that. Diamond doing Live On right now on his next scene. You see, yeah. now tell That's the kind of I will. Yeah. Yeah. Neil, Steve, yeah, listen to me. Yeah. Listen to me. Because yeah. I tried, it didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> Went all the way to LA, I got as far as the secretary, and then uh, uh, and, uh, and that was really about cool. it. She said, no, no, you've got to send them the, the, the songs to Bicycle Music Company. Because yeah. I actually had two songs I thought he would. You know, an artist like that, you've you got to throw a lot of mud and hope yeah. a little bit Something sticks. sticks. Mm. Yeah. And I had a song uh, called We'll Find A Way yes. and Live On. And I thought he would really, uh, it would be great for me if he, if he could cover these songs. Yeah. So never, I never got past the front door. It's difficult. He's lost. He's lost. Yeah. 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 But we keep trying. Yeah, you've got to keep on, absolutely. Because yeah. we've got the talent here, so, you know, we, we want to. Um, yeah. What are your plans for the future? Are well, I'm waiting, Steve, to produce album? my next album. Oh, yeah, I already really told to him do so. that. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, you know what? Uh, the time is right. I've, I've, I've been away from the industry for a long time, but I'm, I'm really in a comfortable place now. Yeah. Where I've got some nice, fresh ideas, yeah. and yeah. if I could express them on yeah. CD yeah. or play still around, that'd be awesome. Yes, yes, More than yes, that, yes. I'm, you know, raising a family, farming, living the life. It's, uh, yeah. I'm, you know what, I said to a friend the other day, I'm actually living my dream. And I, I said it without thinking about it too much. But I really am. Yes. You know, I never had dreams of making music. I saw this movie called The Jazz Singer. Mm -hmm. And there's a part in the movie where Neil goes into the studio and tries to tell the singer how to sing, how to sing Love of the Rocks. Love of the Rocks. <laughs> and... I, I remember being mesmerized by the goings-on of the band playing and the guy singing. And that's all I ever dreamed of, was to, to see what it looked like and the, the sensation of the studio environment. Yes, yes. So to have made some songs, you know, written songs and made some recordings, man, I'm over the moon. Whatever happens from here on is just absolute blessing. But you must be recorded because you are sounding better than ever. I'm, I'm, um, I'm feeling I'm you. more relaxed. You know, a lot of the time, if I think back in the 80s, it was Rush Rush. And I often, because I was working with uh, Steve's producer for many years, Kevin Kruger. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of the times, you know, I'd go, oh, I wish we could redo that. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, while you're saying that, they're pressing the record. Yeah. And they're telling you you've got another record to put. You know, because you you've got sort of an album contract per year. You know, you've got to do it. 
So you're pressed all the time. You know, it's like, it's nice to be able to take a gap and really plan something cool. That's what I was just telling Steve earlier. I said, you know, look forward to your next project. Take your time. Take a, take a deeper breath. Because then you can really, you know, when you're rushing too much, you can... Because you've got to enjoy it. It's got to be soulful. And you've really got to... You know, I know they took a three, and also you took a, you, you know, you planned it well, and it's, you know, I mean, it's just going so well. I've got to re-record my first three songs. <laughs> no, no, but what I mean is, you, you could probably pick out a couple of the earlier songs, and, and, and really, maybe give them a little bit more time. And, you know? and maybe the incredible privilege of being an older singer is that there are generations who just don't know the first song as well. Mm. Give it that new sound a little bit, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. You know, like uh, with Levon now, Steve has compressed the song, yeah. and he's added a more of acoustic feel to it. Oh, he's awesome. Yeah, you know, and this is what you can do with music. You can record a song in a hundred different ways. Yeah. Revive it, yeah. I think the fans will be so excited to see that you're back out there again. Well, yeah, and, and you know, hopefully we can do some uh, uh, in, a new recording. It'll be crazy not to, because I go live on stage uh, without the artist, and I... Them on the, on the screens behind me, yeah. so they appear on the screens, and I get that oh, sound from where I'm standing. I can hear it, and every time Pierre de goes <laughs> onto that screen behind me, I've got to go, "Hello, <laughs> <laughs> it's my show," because everybody obviously talking just bullshit. remembers. Yeah, he's talking no, just He's doing a costume <laughs> change. <laughs> the mask. People really remember him. They love it. They love the song. They love to hear him again. And everybody says, "Hey, he's Pierre." Yeah. 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 So it'll be a very good thing. You're right, time, it's due. Yeah, it, it's all about time. Life is all about time. That's awesome. Thanks, Oliver. Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. Well, thank you so, so, so much. You've got a very sophisticated setup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared. Not scared. Not scared. <laughs> I'm impressed. But yeah, it's awesome, man. Eh? <laughs> Technology is what you Thank you, Oliver. Thank you so much. No, and, and would you mind if we just had a photo? Yeah, sure, of course.